glory to God. My subject today, glory to God, my subject today is stuck in Lolaba. Stuck in Lolaba. Well, first I want to define to you the word stuck. See, stuck means you are unable to move from a particular position or a particular place. Mm -hmm. Unable to change a situation. And it can also mean firmly positioned in a place and difficult to dislodge. Mm. Now, I want to take you, I want to take you to 2 Samuel. That's where I want to take you in. And I want to take you uh, around about the ninth chapter. But before I begin with the ninth chapter, I want to sort of set the setting for the message. It says, now David is the king. It is worthy to know that when a new king arose after conquering a kingdom, he would destroy the remains of the former king's family in order to stabilize his throne. This was the custom. But David went against the custom after Saul was killed in battle and his son Jonathan. Mm -hmm. And then it stories in 2 Samuel 2 and 3. David asks, is there anyone in the house of Saul that remains? So I can show them kindness for Jonathan's sake, not destroy them, but I want to do the opposite and I want to show them kindness. Yeah. So now we're ready for 2 Samuel 9. Well, the Bible says that David sorted to discover if there was anyone left from the house of Saul. See, if you begin to read in the previous chapters, it began to say Jonathan saw a son and David had made a friendship between the two of them. Amen. That they would do good and show kindness to each other even though Saul was trying to kill David. And it says that they agreed to each other descendants, they kinfolks. They were, in other words, they would take care of each other kinfolks forever. Amen. So now David is established as king. Mm -hmm. yeah. He seeks to find out if there's any left from Saul's house that he might honor. That might keep the pact that he made with Jonathan. Yes, Lord. And then David was told concerning Jonathan's son, Mephishetta. And the son. Now, the son. Let me tell you something about the son, the Bible says. The son was five years old. When his father, Jonathan, was killed in battle with his grandfather Saul. And when they had battle against the Philistines, well, when the nurse began to flee with the five-year-old, she grabbed him and began to flee from the danger into safety. Yes, but the Bible says she dropped him. And he became a cripple. He broke both of his legs. And the legs never grew back properly. But 2 Samuel 9, 4 says, And the king said unto him, Where is he? And Zippah said unto the king, Behold, he is in the house of Mishnah the son of Amish, 
in lowly bar. See, the key word that I want you to deal with today is lowly bar. Lowly bar. And 2 Samuel 2 5 said, Then the king David sent and fetched out of the house of Mitch, the son of Amish, from lowly bar. Now, when the son of Jonah, and when the son of Janatha, and the son of Saul, was come unto David, he fell on his face and reverenced the king. And David said unto him, Fear not, for I will surely show thee kindness to Jonathan, thy father's sake, and restore thee all the land of Saul, thy father, and thou shalt eat bread at any of my tables constantly. 2 Samuel 9, 8. And he bowed himself and said, What is thou, sir, that thou showest should look upon such a dead dog? Somebody say dead dog. Dead dog. As I am. Mm -hmm. Lowly dog. Now, Jonathan, his son, Jonathan's son, he could not take care of himself. He was not able to work according to the chapters. Mm -hmm. Well, in other words, he was in a bad situation. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He winded up in a town that was nothing. No good pastors. No farm man. No communication. He was in a nothing town. Just in other words, he was like living in the dumps. Living in the slums. Mm -hmm. And he gave up and he had no hope. See, somebody ain't got no hope. You're stuck and you can't do no better. No, no, no. Have you consulted the Lord? See, sometimes we can go through something for so long till we kill up. That's it. That's it. No. Sometimes our way just seems so dark and it seems like one situation happened and another situation happened and we just give up. stuck and that place that you've been in too long becomes nothing it becomes a state of lower bar there was no good thing could come out of lower bar mm -hmm. See, the Bible goes on to say, and the research said that Jonathan's son had been hidden away. He was the prince's son, and he was away in exile. He had been forgotten. His inheritance had been taken away from him. He was the grandson of a great king. He was reduced to a fugitive. Dependent on other people for survival. Jesus. See, that's what's wrong with a lot of folk today. Instead of you seeking God for yourself. Amen. Instead of you begin to speak to yourself and begin to say, I'm not going to stay in this place Amen. forever. Amen. We get stuck and content. Yes, Jesus. Mm. Yes, Jesus. Is I'm talking to anybody. See, I want to go back to Jonathan's son when he was five years old. In other words, the caretaker tried to protect him, but in protecting him and running, glory to God, she caused him to fall once again, I said, and he was injured. Sometimes we go through personal injury. Sometimes we go through spiritual injury. But what you going to do with that injury? Is you going to take that injury to 
go and allow God to put you back together again spiritually or is you just going to remain in that situation and begin to say no hope? Now it began to say, it began to say, let me tell you about lowly ball. See, life will throw each of us yes. many punches. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hmm? Amen. Yes, Lord. Many curves. Yes, you will. Amen. Cause us to have many detours. Yes. See, a lot of times we got stuff all mapped out. How we going to do this and how we going to do that. But what we failed to do was consult God. Come on, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And things don't work out. Yes, Lord. What do you do? Do you give up? Jesus. And remain in a little box state? Or do you get up and move forward? Glory. Mm. See, there is a light at the end of the tongue. Amen. But you got to get up. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Not all the time somebody helping you up. That's it. But you got to make up in your mind what you going to do. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. See, because it's easy, it's easy church to remain stuck. Yes. Stuck means you helpless. You don't know what the next step to take. You don't know what the next thing to do. But when you trust God, He'll lead you. He'll lead you through the storm. He'll lead you through whatever dark valley you got to go through. See, because I learned a long time ago, church, it's not what you see with your physical eyes. Because the enemy want to show you everything bad. But it's what you see in the eyes beyond your spiritual eyes. What you see in your spiritual eyes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So many times we're just depending on folks. Somebody say folks. We're depending on folks to help us out of every situation. You know what the Bible called that person? A baby on milk. But when is you going to start eating the word, eating the meat? Yes, Lord. And you take God for his word. Amen. And you begin to speak the word over your situation. Amen. Because you're expecting a change. Yes, mm -hmm. Jesus. See, God is calling us out of Lola Bar. Yes, yes, Lord. Not tomorrow, yes. but today. Yes, Lord. See, Lullabar is a place of disappointment. Yes, Lord. See, Jesus calling you out of destruction. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. He calling you out of destruction. Amen. The song said, I hear Jesus calling. Amen. Don't you want to go? Amen. I hear Jesus for myself. Yes. Amen. And Jesus is telling me to get up and live. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. See, we're holding on to stuff that's going to sink you. Yes, Jesus. It's not what people predict over your life. Amen. But it's what God says about you. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. See, Jesus is calling you out of destruction. Amen. He's calling you out of fear. Yes. Jesus calling you to step out of bondage. Yes. Jesus calling you to step out of poverty. Yes. He's calling you to step out of sin. Yes. He's calling you to step out of hopefulness. Yes. He's calling you to step out of fear. Yes. He's calling you to step out of loneliness. Yes. You just need to step out of love. Yes. Mm. 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 See, Jonathan's son was in a place of nothing. He gave up hope. Mm -hmm. He settled for whatever somebody can do for him. Mm. But when David came, he called the servant Zippah and told her to bring him Jonathan's son. He 
wanted to see Jonathan's son. And, and see when I began, and after he began to tell Jonathan's son all that he was going to do for him. How he was going to be able to sit at the king's table. Wow. And when I thought about that, I said, that's good. Now, but what about sitting at Jesus' table? Wow. Mm. Yes. See, if we want to cook right, yes, now, and if we live right, now, one day we're going to be able to feast at Jesus' yes. table. Yes, mm. Mm. Oh, yes, I'm talking to you. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. See, when we're at Jesus' table, he's going to restore. Bottle. See, all that stuff that you lost, it's not going to be on that. Amen. One day in glory. Woo, thank you, God, somebody say one day. One day, one day in glory. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'll pay for it all. Yes, Lord. Oh, now, the rich is down here that you thought you lost. Right. Woo. Just one day. One day. I know what I'm talking about because the Bible said the streets are paying with gold. So just one day, he said, in the middle of the court, there's a tree. The leaves is for the healing of the nation. So that's why I say just, 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 just one day. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes people are outside of the grace and the love of God. Amen. It was not because God didn't love us that God's grace wasn't sufficient. But he has come to the realization that God loved each of us. And we have to understand God's riches at Christ's expense. What you talking about? He died so that we could live and not be stuck. He died so that we could prosper and be in good health. So the word said. See there we are just I want you to understand something, church. Yes, Lord. We are just a prayer away yes, Jesus. and receiving oh, what God Ooh. has for us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Somebody can get that. We're only a prayer away and receiving what God has for us. The word said, see, I want to prove what I'm talking about. The word said there's life and death in my tongue. So I'm speaking it into a sister that I'm only a prayer away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see, Paul made a teach Jonathan and David made a covering. Yes, well, how about this? God made a covering yes. to redeem the fallen man and show kindness and humility to us that fail. See, mankind is self-accepting God. Mankind rebel against God. Yes. What you talking about, Graham? I'm talking about God offer us salvation. But everybody don't receive salvation. Salvation is free. Yes, mm. yes sir. I don't know my shit. But God always keeps his covenant. You see, Jonathan's son had no legal right to sit at the king's table. He had no legal right to be in the presence of the king. Just think about us. It was grace that placed him there. If you think about it, we have no legal right to sit at our daddy. Jesus fell at a table and fellowship with him. Mm. But Jesus eliminated the excuse. He died. So, 
rose again. So that we could live. See, the Bible says salvation is but the Lord is going to cost you something. Salvation receiving God as your personal Savior is free. You can call on Jesus all you want to. It's free. He'll come in. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But after getting the Holy Ghost, Jesus. you need the anointing of God yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. to rest upon your life. Yes, yes, See, but we have no lawful reason, but God being the forgiveness God that he is, he has went to prepare a place for us. Yeah. That we can be in that prepared place. Amen. But you got to come out of what you're in. Amen. You got to give up some stuff. Amen. Nothing for nothing leaves nothing. Little bar is a condition of the state of your mind. Amen. You're contented at having nothing. Right. You're contented at doing yes. nothing. Yes, You're contented at settling for a position that got you stuck where you can't go forward and you can't go back. You're just stuck to die. Right. Thank you, Lord. See, yes, we're going to die one day unless we translate it or fix You walked upright. Jesus. 
You serve God. You obey God. You came out of Lonely Park. And you didn't even go back to Lonely Park. See, sometimes we come out of Lonely Park, but we find out going back to Lonely Park. What you call that, Pastor Backslide? You come out and you go back. You come out and you go back. You come out and you go back. But you got to learn how to stay. See, at the king's table, now you, we're in the heavenly realm. Mm -hmm. At the king's table, you will find peace. Yes, thank you, Jesus. The Bible said peace that surpasses all oh, your understanding. Mm -hmm. At his table. Jesus. And it says at the king's table, you will find joy. <laughs> Unspeakable joy. See, the Bible tells us now that whatever we're going through, we got to do what? Count it all. Joy. Why do you think the Bible said, count it all? Joy. I understand that what I'm going through now is only temporary. See, I'm feeling moved from where I'm at now, so what? Joy. At the king's table, you will find contentment. The dictionary said contentment means satisfaction. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. See, some folks ain't satisfied. Thank you, Lord. You want somebody else to know it. Thank you, Lord. You're not satisfied with what God gave you. You want somebody else house on the hill. Jesus. And somebody else vehicle to drive. But oh, I just believe that they that wait upon the Lord. Mm. And at the king's table, we'll find protection. The Bible said, no weapon form against me. That's it. Shepherds. See, a weapon may form. You may dig your ditch. But it won't prosper. At the Lord's table. At the Lord's table, there is forgiveness. Yes, Lord Jesus. Mercy. Yes, Lord Jesus. My Lord. God's mercy is running after me. Mercy. Yes, Jesus. See if See, God's so merciful to us that if he gave us what we deserved, <laughs> we wouldn't be here today. At the king's table, there is healing. The Bible said, with his stripes, we are healed. And then another scripture say, with his stripes, it's backing up the past tense. We were healed. In other words, I'm already healed. I just got to walk you to my heal. And at the king's table, there is a future for me. It's a new beginning. It's a new season. No matter what I've done in my past, when I come to God, it's a new beginning. No matter how I acted in my past, when I ask God to forgive me and repent of my sins, it is a new beginning. See, at the Lord's table, there's hope. Expectation. I'm expecting for God to work things out for me. Because the Bible said, never seen the righteous forsake. Neither. Not just me, but I caught that the other day. My sin. You got me? I'm righteous. Never seen the righteous forsaker. But then it popped on down there and said, My seed. Ah, begging up, begging bread. So, see, when we become righteous, we are storing up something for our 
Stand to your feet. We're getting ready for prayer. 